The Bibb County Board of Commissioners is against proposed legislation that would take taxing power away from the school board and put it in their hands. 41 NBC's Amanda Castro sat in on this morning's special session and tells us why county leaders say they don't want the extra responsibility. To sum up this bill, in, in a word, bad idea. The idea? Remove the Bibb County Board of Education's tax power and control of its own budget, which means the BOE would need to get its finances approved by the new Macon Bibb County Consolidated Government. It's going to be really, really hard to uh, do what the government's charged with doing um, uh, and at the same time take on additional responsibility for overseeing another, um, uh, another governmental entity. Which is why Bibb County Commissioner Lonzie Edwards, along with Chairman Sam Hart and Commissioners Gary Bechtel and Burt Bivens are against it. They say the school district's budget is complicated and it would cost the county money to be in charge of it. If we were given that task, we certainly would have to hire somebody, get them trained. Rather than being in a position to reduce the cost of government, we'd be increasing the cost of government. These county leaders also say the bill goes against the will of the voters who gave the board taxing power back in 2004. I think that it should stay with the school district and the voters should hold those uh, elected officials accountable for those actions. But Commissioner Joe Allen disagrees. He says the board should never have had the power to begin with. I never thought it was right then. I think that you have right now we've downsized government, we are consolidated government. You should have one taxing authority in Bibb County. But they all agree on one thing. If this bill gets presented, then it should come back to the voters to make a decision. In Bibb County, Amanda Castro, 41 NBC News. Now to be clear, the bill has not been brought forward to the Georgia General Assembly yet, but Chairman Hart felt that the commissioners needed to come out with an opinion before anything happens. He hopes the legislators will listen and put a stop to that bill.